a very good evening to all it's time for children's pet and treasury with let emotion speak don't forget to like the video share the video and subscribe to my channel today's story is about the lost lion once there was a lion cub called lenny he was a very tiny lion cub but he was sure that he was the bravest lion in all of africa when his mother taught her cubs how to stalk prey lenny would stalk his own mother and pounce on her when she showed them how to wash themselves lenny licked his sister's face instead so that she growled at him when the mother lioness led her cubs down to the watering hole to drink he jumped into the water and created a huge splash that soaked everyone the other lionesses were not amused you better watch that son of yours they said to lenny's mother or he'll get into really big trouble one day the mother lioness led her cubs on their first big hunt stay close to me she said or you could get hurt she crawled off through the undergrowth with her cubs following on behind one after the other lenny was at the back the grass tickled his tummy and he wanted to laugh but he was trying hard to be obedient so he crawled along making sure he kept the bobbing tail of the cub in front in sight on and on they crawled until lenny was beginning to feel quite weary but a brave lion cub doesn't give up he thought to himself and on he plodded at last the grass gave way to a clearing lenny looked up and to his dismay he saw that the tail he had been following was attached not to one of his brothers or sisters but to a baby elephant somewhere along the trail he had started following the wrong tail and now he was hopelessly lost he wanted to cry out for his mother but then he remembered that he was the bravest lion in all of africa so what do you think he did he went straight up to the mother elephant and growled his fierce growl at her that will frighten her thought lenny she won't dare growl back and of course she didn't growl back instead she lifted her trunk and trumpeted so loudly at lenny that he was blown off his feet and threw the ear and landed against the hard trunk of a tree lenny got up and found that his knees were knocking oh my he thought that elephant has a very loud growl but and still definitely the bravest lion in all of africa he set off across the plain it was getting hot in the midday sun and soon lenny began to feel sleepy i think i'll just take a nap in that tree he thought and started climbing up into the branches to his surprise he found that the tree was already occupied by a large leopard I'll show him who's the boss thought Lenny baring his tiny claws the leopard raised his head to look at Lenny and then bared his own huge razor sharp claws he took a swipe at Lenny with his paw without even touching Lenny the wind from the leopard's great paw swept Lenny out of the tree and he landed with a bump on the ground Lenny got up and found that his legs were trembling. Oh my, he thought, that leopard had big claws. But I'm still definitely the bravest lion in Africa. He set off again across the plain. After a while, he began to feel quite hungry. I wonder what I can find to eat, he thought. Just then, he saw a spotted shape lying in the grass. that looks like a tasty meal thought lenny as he bounced on the spotted shape but the spotted shape was the cheetah quick as a flash the cheetah sprang away and as he did so his tail caught lenny a blow that sent him spinning round and round 
round and round in circles. When Nenny stopped spinning, he got up and found that his whole body was shaking. Oh my! He thought that Cheetah is a fast runner. Then he added in a rather small voice, "But I'm still the bravest lion in Africa." He set off again across the plain. By now it was getting dark, and Lenny was wishing he was at home with his mother and brothers and sisters. I wonder if they've noticed I've gone. He thought sadly, as a tear rolled down his furry cheek. He felt cold and tired and hungry as he crawled into the undergrowth to sleep. Sometime later, Lenny was woken up by a noise that was louder than anything he'd ever heard before. Louder even than the elephant's trumpeting. It filled the night air and made the leaves on the trees shake. The noise was getting louder and louder and the animal that was making it was getting nearer and nearer. Lenny peeped out from his hiding place and saw a huge golden creature with big yellow eyes that shone in the dark like lamps. It had a great crown of shaggy golden fur all around its head and its red jaws were open wide revealing a set of very large white fangs. How it roared! Lenny was terrified and was about to turn tail and run when the animal stopped roaring and spoke to him. Come here, Lenny, said the animal gently. It's me, your father, and I'm going to take you home. Climb up on my back, little one. So Lenny climbed up on his father's back and was carried all the way home. And when they got there, his father told his mother and his brothers and sisters that Lenny had been a very, very brave lion after all. I hope you enjoyed this story. Time for an amazing fact. In cold weather, when you can see your breath, you're actually seeing water vapor released from your mouth that has turned into tiny visible droplets. See you tomorrow with another great story and another amazing fact. Good night.